um, Sydney mm -hmm. Engel, who is a family nurse practitioner at the Edward M. Kennedy Community Health Center in Central Massachusetts. She's also the latest, most recent board member of GBPSR. She'll discuss our work to raise awareness around the health risks of the climate crisis and specifically of one of its most important drivers, air pollution due to the burning of fossil fuels. Thank you so much to the moderators and everyone else who made this event possible. While most of the event is focused around talking about our actions to prevent nuclear war, I feel honored to have the opportunity to speak about another existential threat that GBPSR is actively fighting to address changes to the Earth's climate. At GPPSR, we believe that it is our responsibility as nurses, doctors, and public health advocates to use our unique platform to raise awareness of the connection between the human health and the changing environment. There are many experts who could share a ton of statistics connecting these two things. I'm gonna share just a few. First, globally, lives are currently being cut short by an average of nearly two years due to air pollution levels above WHO standards. Second, the global health impacts of air pollution are slightly higher than those of smoking cigarettes. As a primary care provider, this one stands out to me in particular because I ask patients every day about their tobacco use and caution them against the risks of that. I am never instructed to check a box or make sure that I talk to a patient about the risks of climate change and air pollution. Finally, if, air, if carbon dioxide emissions continue at their current high rate by the year 2100, Climate change related health impacts will be responsible for double the rate of deaths per year as COVID related deaths in 2020. Unfortunately, these risks are disproportionately borne by poorer and otherwise underprivileged communities. It's fairly clear that combating climate change is going to take work on a variety of levels. At GBPSR, we are using our voices to push back against developments that contribute to global and local climate change and environmental degradation. In the past year and a half, while much of the medical community attention has been appropriately drawn to addressing COVID-19, there have been several environmental issues raised in Massachusetts. First, a recently opened compressor station in Weymouth has had five unplanned gas leaks, in addition to further polluting an already overburdened community. Second, a new natural gas power plant was proposed in Peabody, which would be built less than a mile away from two environmental justice communities, a hospital, and seven schools. Third, our State Department of Energy Resources has proposed changes to renewable energy standards that would allow biomass power plants, including one proposed in Springfield, to qualify for renewable energy subsidies, even though they create more carbon dioxide pollution than coal or natural gas power plants. At GBPSR, we work with local stakeholders to push back against these and other concerning developments. In some, we've made incredible progress. In others, there's a lot of work to do. I am a healthcare provider because I believe that we as humans have a right to be careful when we are sick. But I also believe that we have a right to breathe clean air, drink clean, clean water, things that keep us from getting sick in the first place. As healthcare workers, we cannot say that we are truly looking out for people if we aren't also looking out for the planet we live on. I invite everyone watching tonight to learn, to teach, to use whatever voice you have to advocate for that healthier, more sustainable world. 